Hey everybody, this is Jason, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you set up a interview using the software program Zoom. Now, uh, your latest assignment is to interview somebody using Zoom for about five to ten minutes. Doesn't matter who it is, it could be your friend, it could be a family member, it could be one of your classmates, it can be about any topic. Um, it needs to be at least five minutes, but no more than ten minutes. Um, and this is kind of a dry run for your final project because I still want to use our final project to interview somebody in, in long form. Um, I, I still think it can be accomplished, but I wanna just make sure you all are acclimated to Zoom um, before you do that in a few weeks. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of explain how you invite somebody to Zoom and, and just how you record. So it's not possible for me to share the screen of Zoom, but I'm just gonna to try to explain it the best I can. There is a, there is a, like a cursor bar on the bottom. Uh, at the end, it says mute, stop video, invite. And then what you do is you press invite and what you're gonna do next is press either copy URL or copy invitation. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you do, um, because both will supply the link the person needs to get into uh, the Zoom meeting or the, the Zoom room, as you call it. Um, you could send that via email, you could send it via text, it doesn't matter. Eventually, they'll, they'll kind of be connected. And Zoom, the program is not very difficult to actually install. Uh, I think you go to zoom.us and the other person can install it on their computer pretty easily. So once they're in the room, um, make sure that you talk with them for five to 10 minutes and also make sure you cut out uh, like the part where you're exchanging pleasantries. Uh, maybe do a countdown where it says five, four, three, two, one, and then you start the interview. And then in post-production, you can actually excise uh, the unnecessary parts. I'm gonna actually add that into the assignment. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do when you wanna start is there's gonna be another button that's gonna say, record and what I highly recommend you all do is record into the cloud uh, because I've had experiences and some of my colleagues at St. Louis Public Radio have had experiences where people have tried to record onto their computer and the Zoom room freezes because they don't have enough space. If you go to the cloud and especially if you have that ability to do that, um, you should actually get your audio and video pretty quickly, maybe within 15 or 20 minutes. It's, it's really not that onerous. Um, I'm not sure if all of you have access to the cloud. I do as a, an employee. Um, and some of the people in the class who are employees may have access to the cloud. Some of the students may not. Um, if you're a student and you, you, you don't have access to the cloud, obviously just uh, record onto your computer. But if you have the ability to do cloud, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, what will happen is when you're finished with the interview, you will get an email uh, saying like your file is ready to download if you go to the cloud. And you have two options. One is like, uh, one is like an audio file only of the conversation. Um, and the other is a video file of the conversation. What I'm gonna want you to do is, is download, you can, you can download both, but you're really gonna need the audio file for this assignment because once you download the audio file, you still are gonna to need to go into whatever audio editing program uh, that you, you use, whether it be Audition, which you can now get for free based off the email that I, I posted uh, or I sent to you today, or Audacity. You're still gonna to have to go through it. You're gonna to have to edit out stumbles you're gonna still have to, to, to try your best. And if you don't have access to editing equipment, just let me know because uh, I need to know that before you turn in an assignment. Um, and I'm gonna just share a screen really quickly um, because if you don't get the email for some reason, you, all, you have to type in like wustl.zoom.us and you have to type in your Wustl key and you'll come to something that looks like this. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do after you're done recording is you're gonna wanna click on recordings and you should have all the cloud recordings um, right here, right here where I'm gonna be highlighting now and hopefully it actually shows up this time. 
is the one that I'm recording for this particular instructional video. And what you what I meant before was that you also have the option to download um, that one is six files, but let's just say the download is three files. Um, my understanding is the MP M4A is what you want. Uh, I believe an MP4 is a video file. So that's not what you want. Um, the files typically are not very large. They're, they're usually a lot smaller than a typical video or audio file. My assumption is whatever software Zoom is using um, has, has found a way to allow you to download your conversations, but not uh, make them so enormous that they're unmanageable. Um, so I'm just gonna do kind of an example here. I'm gonna show in folder. Um, I'm gonna go to audition. I was using headphones earlier, so that's why that uh, prompt came up. And so I'm gonna make sure that my folder is here and then I'm gonna drag and drop into audition. So it is the MP4 to find somebody and connect with somebody. And also, I think you'll find that the audio quality is actually pretty good. Um, it's not as good as being in a studio obviously, but it's probably better than using your iPhone. So I would also recommend that if you want something to use instead of your phone going forward um, to record like maybe the three non-final podcasts we have left, Zoom is not the worst option to use. So that's basically it. It's really in a pretty easy uh, piece of software to use to connect and interview with people. Obviously nothing beats interviewing people face to face, but in these troubled times, as euphemistically as I could say, this is not the worst thing that you can do. So if you have any questions as always, let me know. Uh, next week, we're gonna learn a little bit more about uh, narrative podcasting. I'm obviously not gonna try to get you to record a narrative podcast because I think that I was never really gonna ask you all to do that. Um, but I will have a slideshow. There will be a discussion about that. And I will think of some sort of uh, podcast you'll have to record next week. This particular one is due next Wednesday as opposed to next Monday. R keep that in mind. And if you haven't turned in your assignment for this week, your coronavirus podcast reflection, please do it now. I, you will get a few points off for being late. But as I've said to everybody I've talked to, I'm trying to be as lenient as possible in this class going forward. I know you all have other classes you're dealing with. And I know that this class may not be like at the top of your mindset right now, but please try to turn in your assignments when you can. Um, any other questions, feel free to email me. I hope you all are staying healthy and I hope you all are, are doing the best you can under these circumstances. Talk to you soon.